All right, take number two. Um, I just uh, saw Small Engines 101's uh, newest video on the uh, curve shaft, straight shaft debate. And I 100% agree with everything he says in there. And I'm, I'm just going to take my take with it because I own a straight shaft combi system. And I'll also get into some combi system stuff. So here's my Echo PAS225 uh, combi system. It has a 21cc engine. It is, you know, your chokes there. You know, your starts there. It's pretty much another trimmer, just a different, totally thing to it. But there is a lot of things that I like about these straight shafts and why I 100% prefer them over a curved shaft trimmer. So I'm going to start off with just this main part down here. This grip is so much better than what I see from yours. This has rubber and not plastic. So it's very grippy. And I'm trying with my full grip, you know. So it's really grippy. Same here. Same rubber. That's what I love about this. I don't know if steels have the same on-off switch, but I'm not going to go much into that. But still, on-off switch, I love it. Uh, it comes with a pre-made harness mount in this. I didn't buy this. It just comes with it. So if you need a harness because you're doing a lot of weed eating, boom, you got one there. So, as I said, 21cc engine. A lot of power in this thing. Uh, you don't need a full throttle it. I run it like this, and it'll cut grass. So... I will start this up at the end of the video. Um, now, time for the trimmer. Why I love the straight shaft trimmer. It is so easy to control. It's definitely a ton to do. It's very long, as you can see. So I think a curve shaft would cut off right, right here. I think it would drop down and have your trimmer there, which is amazing because, well, it's a lot shorter and saves your back as small engine said in his video 100 percent agree with that um another thing this is kind of an echo thing but these guards are a ton smaller than the seals why why do i like that because when i'm flip edging or i need to see some obstacles i can see where my string is going a lot more than these seals which yes i get why seals do that it's a lot more protection and you know it saves your legs you know, you get weed eater legs, and trust me, that's not fun. Um, another echo thing here. This is something that I think any straight shaft trimmer should have is a speed feed head. Small engines, once you get your um, steel, 100% go out to Home Depot. I think they sell speed feed heads for 15 bucks full of this Crossfire line. At Home Depot, they sell those uh, kits. And they come with adapters for steels and all that stuff. So, 100% will recommend that speed feed head and install it on your steels. Trust me, you'll love it. Saves a ton of time loading up that string. And speaking of string, I'm just going to show what string I use. Because I don't know what string you use, but I do want to see it. This is Black Diamond Echo Line. It's just full of crossfire because uh, the trimmer came with a full load of uh, crossfire line, so I just go with it. But I went out and bought this black diamond line. Best line on the market. Trust me, you'll love it. It's twisted. It's nice and big. And trust me, it has an amazing quality to it. All right, now I'm gonna start getting into combi systems. I love my combi systems, trust me. And it saves a lot of time. I can do this one-handed. So first, you undo this wing bolt. Don't undo it all the way. Uh, take out this pin here. I will start this trimmer up at the end. Man, I got greasy hands. I was doing stuff. Boom. You know, just like that. Here, 
Let me try and find a mounting point. I'll use this drill. Half inch Ryobi impact. Love this drill. So, here. So, there's a pin on this side that you undo. You just pull it, and boom. Now you have a power head and a string trimmer attachment that you can't use for string trimming. <laughs> Now to attach, I'm gonna go grab, I have my Kershaft Edger. Just so you know, these Echo's uh, PH225s are not compatible with the straight shaft. So, I have the, so you're gonna wanna line up that pin that I just pulled as close as you can. That wing nut just tightens stuff so I'm gonna undo that a bit more so that I can fit this thing in. This thing's a bit more heavy, so it's a bit more harder to, uh, well, attach, basically. Now once you hit that pin, you gotta pull it out, and then once you hear that pin, you know, click in, then boom. You just uh, do put in that wing nut again, and now, you have an edger. And this is kind of combi system stuff now, but I'm still going to go into it. So, how to adjust this wheel. So this wheel I still have not adjusted yet from when I bought it. So it's really low to the ground. And you can't really edge with it, right? So if I want to lift that up, you know, it's very back breaking. So... You know, I can't even move it when I tried to edge. So we're gonna adjust it. Let's flip her around so that you can see what I do. Is that you're gonna wanna grab this other wing, wing nut here and try and twist it. Man, that thing's kinda of tight on there. So. There we go, got it. I just gotta undo it. And then you should. Yep, it just, you move it back and forth. And that's how it works. So I'm gonna move mine all the way back uh, for that matter. And then you're going to want to tighten it up again. As tight as you can get it. <sighs> Got it? And now you have an adjusted edger. Mine might be up a way too high, but just that's how you do it. Uh, now we're going to get into the pros and cons. I just want to test this out. Now it's kind of low. But, you know, you can always adjust it as you go. But now I'm going to get into the pros and cons of a combi system. So, number one con I see is that these machines aren't really going to be specifically tuned for, you know, that. So, it's just going to have an engine. And, you know, I can already see some connecting rods in there kind of going weird but that's uh maybe not i don't know but that's just my two cents on that um man what else i got because i i love my combi systems and i don't really know what else i can say about them but that's really all i got for you today uh thanks small engines for shouting you out if you want another channel that does stuff like me but does a little bit more mowing i want to get into mowing i just need a tripod for this phone that i'm using and then we'll have a lot more mowing stuff uh tomorrow we have some beautiful weather right now it's just raining um so tomorrow when we get that nice weather i'll put out a mowing trimming vlog for you guys um yeah, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this one, Small Engines. This is my two cents on your, you know, 
take for the curve shaft straight shaft debate i think you will absolutely love your straight shaft trimmer once you get it if you do get a combi i think you're gonna love that even more so i would recommend combi and you know that's my two cents all right thank you guys for watching and you guys all have a great day subscribe to my channel and like it and you know turn on notifications comment down below whatever stuff you want me to do do you want me to collab with you whatever um so small engines go subscribe to him i'll put him i in the description uh go sub to his channel he's at 161 subs and he shouted me out so if you guys are coming from small engines channel i thank you guys so much and as i said before if we can get 1000 subscribers before 2023 i think i will give away one of these PAS225 combi systems to one of you lucky subscribers. So, yeah. Get me to 1,000 and you get, you know, one of you guys will win one of that. Alright, thank you guys and have a amazing day. And always, God bless America. Bye.